Blairsville. I am pumped to welcome you to Lucky's Taqueria in Cantina. This is right downtown at the entrance to the Merchant's Walk. And this is, this is the old Copeland's building, but let me tell you, there is nothing Copeland's about this place. I'm joined by Matt. Mm -hmm. Hi. You have reinvented this space. Yeah, it was a collaborative effort uh, with our whole management team. Uh, Corey Masters as well pretty much built this whole place. So shout out to him and uh, Chris Wadel and his wife for all their support along the way. I'm gonna get Ashley to just kind of paint around so people can see just the transformation is just astounding. And what you've done, it's, it's a work of art, really. When you come in, every space, from the tables to the walls to the ceiling, every square inch is like a vignette that you can look at and just, it's a feast for the eyes. It's a fiesta. Fiesta. Yes. And when we say fiesta, we mean authentic. Authentic. Mexican street food. Mexican street food. Like if you went to Mexico City and you're walking around, most of these dishes you can find on any street in most Mexican city. So if people think like, oh, I'm going to get a taco, that you are way beyond. Yeah, we're not Taco, taco Bell yeah. or Tex-Mex or anything like that. It's going to be a corn shell, soft tortilla or a flour tortilla. Um, so, yeah, we don't do any hard shell tacos at the moment. Uh, we have some stuff coming down the pipeline that's going to be on our secret menu um, that will allow people to maybe get a hard shell taco. So you mentioned secret menu, yeah. and you told us that you're going to have something like that. What's that going to be? Well, uh, Chef and I have been collaborating on it um, all summer, um, but it's going to be just a variety of things that are very unique that most people won't even know what they are. They're just going to have to trust us and, you know, take a, take a leap of faith and uh, order it and see if they like it. Now, I've seen some things already on your actual menu that I'm just loving. Jicama slaw. Yes. That's huge. Yes. Well, we, we built the menu to be kind of friendly to everybody, okay. from your, your vegans to your gluten-free to your keto people. Um, so we wanted to you know hit all the bases as best we could. Now, you mentioned vegans. You were telling me that even your rice and your black beans, which are sort of those standard accompaniments, those are vegans, so somebody who is really careful is going to have no concerns when they come here. Exactly, and uh, you know, it's it's hard to make it, when you put chicken stock or beef stock in something, right. flavor comes out. So to really make those flavors pop without that um, has been a challenge. But I think we're getting pretty close to hitting that on the head. Yeah, and you said Corey is he makes everything from scratch. Yeah, there's very so. little canned or in box products. Every you know, the beans are made from scratch, rice is made from. I mean, everything. Cut our own meats. <laughs> Um, yeah. Tell me some of the protein options. So you come in, and just to give you guys an idea, you come in and you get to decide, I want this protein, Yeah. I want this topping. So tell us how that works. Yeah, so we started with like uh, four, um, four or five proteins, and then um, by the time the menu actually rolled out, I think we're up to 10. So uh, we got tofu, butternut squash, pork belly, carne asada, which is the real ribeye, uh, chicken, we got fish, we got shrimp butternut squash so we got a little bit of everything and then what do they do so i so let's say i say i, I want to do the carne asada mm -hmm. and then then what do i choose next so you can you can get carne asada tacos you can put that in a bowl you can make that a burrito uh you can make that into a quesadilla or if you're really hungry you can turn that into a plate which comes with rice and beans and one of our unique sides okay and what are some of your unique sides well we got the elotes which is the mexican street corn that's you know basically covered in cheese and lime and seasoning and mayonnaise and you eat it off the off the cob this is i'm, I'm crazy or, or you, we can we can cut it off and put it in a cup for you yeah we got several different salads and slaws so yeah it's we we built the menu also to be affordable so when you come in you look at it you can get a little bit of this a little bit of this kind of like a tapas bar we don't want you to just come in and get a speedy gonzalez i want you to try the salad Try the corn, try a little bit of everything. I'll try everything you want me Let's to Let's do it. <laughs> now, another thing you're talking about is salsas. You've got, what, eight different salsas? Well, it keeps evolving. Uh, we started with four again. Now I think we're up to eight, roughly. So, uh, you know, when we built this place, there was no blueprint. Uh, so, like anything without a blueprint, you know, you're just kind of winging it. We had weekly meetings uh, and just collaborated. And the menu came that way, too. So, we're still... We're still build, building the menu. We're still building uh, who we are and what kind of brand we want to be. Um, but it's been a fun, fun ride. All right. So some of the other things you told me you're going to do trivia nights on Tuesday. Oh yeah. And Thursdays. we're going to train Blairsville to come out after dark. 
Okay, so you're waking us up. We're going to try. Get woke. Get woke, yourself. people. <laughs> so 8 to 11 is when the adult fun will start. Trivia, awesome. karaoke. Um, we talked about a lot of different things. Ladies night, guys night, poker night. So. Awesome. So Something like that. a lot of options. You're actually open until 11. To 11. And I don't think there's any other at restaurant the in town that's yeah. open that late. No. So if you're if you're looking at other than Huddle House. Other than Huddle House, yeah. yes. Um, if you're looking for a fun night with your with your friends, if you're doing like a bachelorette party locally. Yeah, anything. Typically people feel like they have to leave to do that. But actually, no. stay. 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 Come to Lucky's. Yes, have come. Have a party. Yes. And We've got a great patio out. outside. Uh, it's not really, we kind of hit the end of patio season, but hopefully we'll get some nice days. So we've got a nice uh, patio that can be enjoyed during the day or at night. Um, holds about 40 people. So, you know, it's good for baseball teams to, you know, right. girls night out. You Is know? it pet friendly? Yeah. Okay, so loving that. It's like a courtyard. It's self-contained. Yeah. If you have kids, little kids, and you know they're going to be like wild in the restaurant, this is perfect because it's such an easy spot. They can kind of move around. Great parking here as well. I need to mention Very that. good. And we got Pull parking across the street. The merchant swap. Mm -hmm. Parking here, or you can park across the street. Yep, plenty of parking. Mm -hmm. And then you've got a walk up so, window. Yeah. And that's not quite ready yet, but you're going to be. Tell us about that. Yeah, we have a lot of different revenue streams. Um, the walk up window was because of adapting to COVID, obviously. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and, and that's kind of where the restaurant industry is going anyway with delivery and online. So uh, we built that, it was right there. So. Actually, that was Chris's idea, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, we rolled with it. We haven't executed it yet, um, but we think it's going to be a wonderful opportunity for people that are still concerned about COVID to not have to have much contact. Yeah. So, Matt, I feel like what you've done here is more than just create a space where people can get great food. I feel like you've actually created a destination downtown with the courtyard, with the walk-up window. People can come hang out here, then they can go down to a bite and grab a coffee, then they yeah. can go across the street and get ice cream. It's you have made this space just an awesome spot for people to come. Well, I down. appreciate that. Yeah. That was a lot of Chris's vision too, right? So um, he played a big role in kind of helping the vision of where we were yeah. going to go. And um, yeah, I agree. Uh, everybody back here is going to benefit from our business as well. So all right, doing giveaways, right? Yeah. What are you guys doing? I don't know. What are we doing? Hats, koozies. All right. So hats. this is our uh, lucky branded hat. Yes, and you've got coupons here. Tell us what these coupons are for, Matt. I'm not sure. Okay, let's read it. We'll find out. Free chips and salsa of your choice. Okay, now listen, Blairsville. I already heard about the salsa, so you definitely want to come up here because people have already eaten it. They're giving it two thumbs up, and you definitely need a Lucky's koozie. So they're yeah. going to stop in. When do you want to? When do you want them to come? What are your hours? We're open from now on till ever. Uh, closed on Sundays for the time being. Okay. Um, but uh, yeah, we're open from. 11 to 11, so anytime we want to stop by. All right, 11 to 11, come to Lucky's and support this local business. Thanks. Thank you.